Okay, so we made a project on microcontroller based on wireless substation protection control and monitoring system. So that's the poster we made and let's walk you towards the hardware part. Okay, so that's our uh, substation model. That's the primary side of the sub transformer. That's the secondary side of the transformer. It's incoming source. Incoming source coming from here. Going as a node one. That's the primary breaker. And that's two sensors which are monitoring current and voltage. That's two transformers. Uh, that's the secondary side and similar to primary side we have a secondary breaker and two nodes where we are monitoring voltage and current. That's the feeder. Uh, where we also have a supply house powering all the unit. And lastly, we have a control house, which has a microcontroller and a Zigbee radio on it, transmitting wireless data to a local local computer. So that's the local computer. We have a GUI. So we can close control the breakers by switching the switch on and the breaker clo it closes and the LED goes on. Now I'm opening the pri primary breaker so I can click over here the breaker opens and you can see it similarly the LED clicks closed over here. So no, no electricity on the secondary side. So as soon as I close it and you see the LED coming on. On the secondary side control, if I open the secondary breaker, so you can see a secondary transformer turning on, and if I close it, and the other one will go. So that's the backup circuit. You can also control it through the pictures. So you can control it from here. You can turn it on. We also simulated four faults. Uh, that's our Saval simulator fault breaker failure over current. So if we press this, so for instance, breaker failure, breaker one failure, secondary fail breaker open. So breaker one has failed to open, but the secondary breaker has opened for the backup. Close the breaker. Similarly, all three other faults are simulated. Uh, we can view the fault recorder by going over here. That's all the faults get recorded. And we can also look at our data acquisition. That's all our data get getting accumulated. So as you can see, this data popping in every half a second. And we can go back to our GUI. So that's the local area. We also added a remote access on the other side of the table. So we have a remote access through a local a computer through an internet cloud. So we can control it from here. So if we, if we open a breaker in the circuit, so I can do a bunch of stuff from here. I can also access it from the phone. So that's the phone GUI. And I can just do whatever I want to do. So for instance, let's say I want to press over current. a fault simulator and the breaker one has opened it says over here primary breaker open breaker for over current fault so that's so that's our project thank you very much Bye.